On October 11, 2025, SpaceX's Starship Flight 11 stands poised on the launch pad, a gleaming symbol of human ambition and technological progress. This day marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing story of space exploration, as the world turns its eyes to Starbase, waiting for history to unfold. Flight 11 is the final mission for the Block 2 Starship, a vehicle that has bridged the gap between early prototypes and the next era of routine, reliable space access. This mission is all about gathering critical data, pushing Ship 37 and Booster 15 to their absolute limits, and ensuring that the next generation of starships will be even more robust, efficient, and capable. It's a powerful symbol of transition, celebrating the remarkable progress made so far, while also demonstrating the team's readiness to tackle the challenges that lie ahead. As we await the thunderous ignition of all 33 Raptor engines, we stand on the threshold of a crucial new chapter in humanity's journey beyond Earth. This flight is a synthesis of every triumph and setback that has come before, paving the way for revolutionary technologies and new frontiers. The data and experience gained from this mission will lay the foundation for humanity's next steps, to the Moon, to Mars, and ultimately, to worlds yet unimagined. Flight 11 is where the lessons of the past meet the ambitions of the future, coming together in one magnificent, unforgettable ascent. It's a final spectacular performance for Block 2, clearing the stage for its advanced successor and setting a new standard for what's possible. This mission stands as a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of making humanity a truly multi-planetary species, one bold step at a time. Starship Flight 11 is a meticulously choreographed ballet of fire and steel, packed with critical events that unfold in rapid succession, each one vital to the mission's success. The countdown begins with fueling, as teams work with precision and focus to prepare the rocket for its journey. Super-chilled propellants, including liquid oxygen and methane, fill the tanks, their extreme cold creating a dramatic visual of frost and vapor. Plumes of vapor vent from the rocket, signaling the immense energy building within. With a deafening roar, all 33 Raptor engines ignite in perfect unison, unleashing a torrent of flames and thunderous power. The rocket lifts majestically through the atmosphere, leaving a blazing trail as it climbs our dis mice, higher design bestiated in carbon body comprend, honorary Joe Nance and the bun, honorary Joe Dash and Krugessen define, destroyer and destroyer. Passing max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, confirms the vehicle's structural integrity under the most intense stress it will face. At two and a half minutes, hot stage separation occurs, a critical maneuver where the stages part ways while both are still firing. The Starship upper stage then ignites its engines, continuing the journey into the vacuum of space. Meanwhile, the super heavy booster begins its journey home, flipping and preparing for a controlled descent. Its return concludes with a controlled splashdown at sea, a feat of engineering and precision. Meanwhile, the Starship upper stage continues its ascent, deploying test satellites into orbit to demonstrate its payload capabilities. It also attempts an in-space engine reignition, a crucial test for future deep space missions. Ship 37 then begins its fiery descent back to Earth, its heat shield glowing as it re-enters the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. Using its body and flaps, Starship maneuvers with precision, aiming for a controlled splashdown in the ocean. Every phase of this mission gathers invaluable data, proving the systems needed for a fully reusable launch vehicle and informing future flights. This intricate flight plan is designed to push the boundaries of space exploration, paving the way for humanity's next giant leap. Starship Flight 11 is more than just a test flight, it's a flying laboratory pushing the boundaries of what's possible in modern rocketry. Here, engineers are testing a suite of new technological upgrades, all aimed at achieving full reusability and dramatically reducing the cost of access to space. One of the most critical areas of focus is the Thermal Protection System, or TPS, which shields the spacecraft from the intense heat of re-entry. Engineers are introducing a new solution called the Crunch Wrap, designed to prevent heat leakage and improve the durability of the heat shield during repeated flights. In a bold move, some heat shield tiles will be intentionally removed to stress test the airframe, allowing teams to gather invaluable data on how the structure performs under extreme conditions. This high-risk, high-reward strategy accelerates learning, enabling rapid iteration and improvement with every flight. Each test leads to a more robust and reliable design, bringing us closer to routine, safe space flight. 
Booster 15 will also trial a new landing burn sequence using five engines, adding redundancy and increasing the chances of a successful, controlled touchdown. This approach not only improves safety, but also paves the way for more frequent and reliable landings. This flight marks a significant milestone in engine reuse, demonstrating the potential for rockets to fly multiple times with minimal refurbishment. Booster 15 is making its third ascent, showcasing the progress toward rapid turnaround and operational efficiency. Each flight provides engineers with crucial data on engine wear, performance, and refurbishment, all of which are essential for ensuring long-term reliability and safety. The relentless focus on reusability is the key to making space travel as routine and accessible as air travel is today. Starship is unlocking a future where launching massive payloads to orbit becomes not only possible but cost-effective for a wide range of missions. With every test, we move closer to a world where our relationship with space is transformed, opening new possibilities for exploration, science, and human progress. To appreciate Flight 11 we look back at Flight 10, a watershed moment in Starship's journey. Flight 10 achieved a full mission profile, concluding with a controlled splashdown, providing invaluable data. It proved the Starship system could work as designed. From launch to guided re-entry, the thermal protection system's performance led to the development of the crunch wrap for Flight 11. Flight 10's booster stability exceeded expectations, boosting confidence in precise landing maneuvers. This success shifted SpaceX's focus to optimizing performance and increasing testing speed. Flight 11 builds on Flight 10's knowledge, targeting specific improvements and stress-testing new solutions. It exemplifies the iterative process, where each flight builds on the last, climbing toward full reusability. Flight 10 was the graduation exercise, Flight 11 is the masterclass. It's a perfect example of progress, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Starship Flight 11 marks the end of the Block 2 era, a valedictory flight for this generation of hardware. This mission is the last for Ship 37 and Booster 15, the pinnacle of this design iteration. After this, focus shifts to the next generation, making Flight 11 a final, data-rich curtain call. The launch is the last from Pad 1A, soon to be upgraded for Version 3 vehicles. The retirement of Pad 1A signifies the program's relentless forward momentum. The separate hot staging ring also takes its final bow, replaced by an integrated design in Version 3. By expending both Ship 37 and Booster 15, SpaceX values knowledge over hardware. This final flight pushes Block 2 systems to their limits, gathering data for Version 3. Flight 11 is a purposeful conclusion to a pioneering era, accelerating the development of its successor. As Block 2 wraps up, all eyes turn to the next phase, the Block 3 Starships. Flight 12 will debut this new hardware, a significant leap in scale, power, and capability. Version 3 is taller, with greater propellant capacity, enhancing performance for Moon and Mars missions. Upgraded Raptor 3 engines are more powerful and efficient, critical for ambitious payload targets. The integrated hot staging truss replaces the separate ring, a step toward full reusability. Tower recovery is the most ambitious upgrade. Then you to catch the booster mid-air with Mechazilla. This maneuver is key to rapid reusability, allowing quick turnaround for the next flight. In the initial suborbital flights will pave the way for tower catch attempts and full orbital missions. Version 3 will enable larger Starlink deployments and practice deep space technologies. It transforms Starship into a true interplanetary transport system, unlocking next-level capabilities. The Starship program's rapid pace is driven by the goal of a fully reusable space system. Traditional rockets are expensive and expendable, limiting space access. SpaceX aims to create a rocket that can be flown repeatedly, like an aircraft. Reusability is essential for sustained Moon and Mars missions, reducing costs significantly. A reusable Starship promises to lower launch costs, enabling ambitious projects like NASA's Artemis. Flight 11 is a crucial step towards this transformative future, gathering data for reusability. It represents a shift from exclusive space access to a future open to all. Starship Flight 11 is a symbol of hope and progress, solving challenges for humanity's aspirations. This final mission proves the lessons needed before the next great leap. As Flight 11 ignites, it lifts not just a rocket, but humanity's future.